Here many villages are in clearings in the forest with the branches of the trees literally touching their roofs. People spend almost all their time outside and there are children everywhere. The leopards are prowlers whose territories cover over 30 square kilometers and for them a child is no more than easy meat. It is capable of carrying one off before it even has time to cry out. These are not isolated cases. In a place like this, statistics do not exist, but death most certainly does. One animal in Asia is known to have killed over 100 people before being hunted down. And we also find here a universal myth, which in at least 50 documented cases has turned out to be true. Some female leopards have for a time looked after human babies or children they have found near the forest. This phenomenon has occurred in other places around the world with wolves or monkeys and inspired the popular legend of the leopard child, which in turn gave rise to such well-known fiction stories as those of Mowgli or Tarzan. The man-beast totemic hybrid inspires dread because it combines the worst of both. <laughs> So the best thing is to befriend the leopard spirit so that it does not carry off your children and so it will imbue them with its strength and courage. In Africa, this is done by dancing in its honor and that is why this ritual is so important in this part of the Ivory Coast. Dancers disguised as felines are possessed by the leopard and demonstrate this by making movements whose agility leaves no room for doubt. Only the great spotted devil could move that way. these peoples confer on the leopard makes it at the same time killer and benefactor. Predatory animals have always projected the right image for man to create symbols and allegories of a totemic and mythological nature. In this way, the human mind tries to explain events it does not fully understand, looking for a culprit, a malignant, vengeful spirit which can be held responsible for unexpected deaths or natural disasters. Dancing in its honor, they try to placate the supposed wrath of the leopard spirit. By thinking of it, they trust it will not attack them, at least not in the near future. But the truth is, the leopard is a hunting animal for which both time and space are running out. Increasingly persecuted, only one thing is sure. The ancient spotted cat will go on killing even as it dies. Millions of years of changes on planet Earth have produced incredible diversity, a variety of settings in which to put to test life's resources for survival. A handful of animal species have proven supremely successful in the selection process imposed by nature. At the head of this list of winners stands man, and when we outgrew the physical world, we began to discover other dimensions inside our own minds. Then we decided to establish an arbitrary scale of values to divide up the other animals into good and bad. What was first admiration and later desire to be like them soon became domination. The totemism which paid homage to the animal and worshipped it changed when man stopped being a hunter-gatherer and from the Neolithic age began to be governed by new socio-economic rules. The mythical halo of the animals almost entirely disappeared in the dominant Western culture, but survived in many others. Mm -hmm. 
Now what some call global culture has adopted nature as simply one more consumer product. The new religion of city dwellers is conservationism. The new gods are the species in danger of extinction. But the world still contains some human cultures that dance to the spirits of the forest as these men and women are doing in New Guinea. With their ritual masks, they cross the fire, dance and sing, breaking the silence of the tropical night. The fact is, all human beings feel something special when they enter a forest, when they climb a mountain, or when they swim in the sea. Evolution continues while Homo sapiens threatens to irreversibly change his own home, planet Earth. Perhaps there's not much time left to do what we do best. It's possible that we have very few years ahead of us in which to continue stealing powers. Oh!